In this video, I'm gonna show you three of our best core exercises that I guarantee you haven't done before. Hey there, it's Hunter here from Hybrid Fitness, and today I'm gonna to walk you through those three core exercises that we use here a lot. We'd love to do them at Hybrid Fitness, but you probably haven't done them before. You know, when we think about core training, the first thing that comes to mind a lot of the time is creating motion with the core, doing crunches, doing twists, and things like that. But really, what our core was designed to do was to stabilize our body, to stabilize our spine, and what stabilizing means is resisting movement. So I'm gonna give you some exercises today that will help you resist movement in that lower back and the core. Uh, so here we go, here's the first one. Now what you're gonna need for this exercise is either a band, or you can also do this with a cable machine with some resistance on the other end. And this is just called a banded anti-rotation. So you can be here in a kneeling stance, you can have a foot up, different variations to it. But you're gonna go ahead, make sure you have plenty of tension. And we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna hold our arms out, just like this. And what's happening right now is if I release my core, that's what's gonna happen. So we're actually teaching our body to resist that motion and it's working my oblique a ton. And I'm just big belly breath and if you come around and look here, if you notice, I got 90 degree angles back here. I'm not leaning back, I'm staying nice and tall. So really work on holding that position, just like that. Once you master that exercise, you can obviously add in a heavier band or a band with more resistance, or we can just add in a little extra flavor. So this is what we call a pale up press. And, and what you do in this one is the same idea, but now you're inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling. So now you're just giving your body repetition to that. You're, you're allowing yourself to turn that muscle on and then turn it off again by going right back to that starting position. But as you bring the chest in, it reduces the difficulty. And just like that. So those are your first two exercises and the last one you're really gonna be excited for. So the next and final exercise is what we call a suitcase carry. And this is a great exercise because you're not only gonna work your core, you're gonna work your grip strength, you're gonna work your cardio a little bit. So here you go. So in a suitcase carry, we're gonna hold a heavy load. It could be a dumbbell, it could be kettlebells, anything that is trying to make you fall over. So again, if I release my core right now, what happens? That happens. So I'm engaging my core, resisting that motion that this weight is pulling me into. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take baby steps, so little steps, just walk in here. And every time I do this, my body is trying to pull itself right over. So if I come back, you want to really work on making sure that the weight isn't dependent upon your body. So if you're using your body to kind of lean the weight on, it's going to take away a lot of the resistance. So have it just away from your body so it's not touching. And there's a real tendency here to want to tilt or to compensate, so you're right here, work hard to stay tall. And by doing that, that's gonna really activate that core. Now what I recommend doing is just doing like 10 to 20 yards down and back with one hand and then switch down and back in the other. This works really well at the beginning of a workout for a warm up. It works at the end really well as a finisher or you can mix it in with squats and that just makes like a an awesome leg combination, keep your heart rate up. So those are your three movements for your core that you can start incorporating. If you start incorporating those today, you're really gonna see a difference in how your body feels. These are not gonna bother your back because we're not constantly moving our back, right? We're resisting motion instead of creating it. If you're watching this and you're a mom who needs some extra support, we have a private Facebook group that's completely free where we answer all your questions. We're there for you to to, to be your support system. And if you wanna join that, you can go to the link in our description below, request to join, and we'll be happy to, to accept you in there and make you a part of the hybrid mom family. So come on in there. And thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, like, and ask questions if you have them. I can't wait to see you in the next video.